Hi friends, it's Hannah from Handmade by Design and I am so glad you're here. Today we're going to be making a no-sew denim gift bag that's perfect for this time of year. With graduations and Mother's Day coming up, it's perfect for a bottle of wine, infused oil, tall bottles of lotions, and it makes a wonderful hostess gift as well. This gift bag is made without sewing a stitch, but if you do know how to sew and have a sewing machine, you can make it in half the time. I purchased a pair of denim jeans from the thrift store for $4.49, plus I had a 20% discount coupon. You probably have jeans at home that you can use that won't cost you a thing. I measured 19 inches from the bottom of the jeans and I made a cut straight across the jeans. I cut an additional one inch border off of the jeans and set it aside. I measured two inches from the point of the jeans to the center of the jeans on each side of the leg and I also measured two inches from the outside of the jeans into the inside of the jeans. And then I turned the jeans inside out. Using a pen, I drew a line on both corner of the jean. Keep in mind that if you are going to sew, you're going to follow the exact same procedure except for wherever I use glue, you're going to be sewing with your sewing machine. I cut each corner off of the leg of the jeans. Once the corners have been cut, I make sure that the jeans are turned inside out. I'm using part of the one inch strip that I cut from the jean leg and I'm going to apply it with fabric fusion. The reason that I'm doing this is because I want the bottom of the gift bag to be completely flat. If there's going to be a bottle of wine or a large bottle of oil with uh, herbs and spices in it, I don't want the bottom of the gift bag to, bag to be unsteady. So I just measure out a piece of the one inch fabric. And as you can see here, I am going to glue it as shown so that the bottom of the gift bag will be flat. I apply part of the piece to one side and then I apply the other side. I give it some space and I apply it to the inside piece of the other side. And I hope that you can understand what I'm saying. Maybe if I turn it around and you can see what I did, it will give you a better idea of how I glued these pieces together and you can also sew them to make the bottom of the bag flat. Once I have the pieces in place or the strip in place, I add clips all along where I added the glue and I allow the glue to dry completely. Once the glue has dried completely, I remove the clips and I cut the extra fabric off so that it is flush with the one inch piece that I have added on to the fabric. And now we're going to work on the corners. Add fabric fusion inside of the fabric to glue it together and also under the seam and fold the fabric over towards 
the outside seam of the pant leg and clip it together until the fabric is completely fused and the glue is dry. I did the same thing on the other side and if there's any overhanging material, cut it off and add fabric fusion wherever you need to to make sure that you have good strong adhesion. We are doing all of this on the inside of the jeans. So we're doing it on the wrong side, not the pretty side of the jeans. Allow all of the fabric glue to dry completely. And once it has, remove all of the clips. And then you can see how nice and pretty and flat the bottom of the bag is. And this is perfect. We're not going to have any bottles falling over because the bottom of this gift bag is flat. It even stands up all by itself. Turn the gift bag right side out. And now we're going to apply transfers. I love these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. They are so easy to apply. They have several different selections on every page and I'm going to be using a selection of florals and bees for the gift bag and the way that the transfers from the Dollar Tree work is that you just lay the transfer the pretty side face down on the front of where you want it to show like for example, you can see the bee and it's laying the pretty side is facing the pretty side of the jeans. And I'm just using a hard plastic squeegee that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just rubbing the transfer on until I can no longer see it on the back of the paper. And that lets me know that it has transferred onto the fabric of the denim. Just be careful when you're doing the transfer and try to hold it still so that you don't move your transfer around and you get a nice distinct picture. If you don't have rub-on transfers, you can always use stamps and just make sure that you use archival ink or permanent ink so that the ink does not rub off if the gift bag gets washed. I went back in and carefully lined up my paper where a few of uh, the dark pieces were missing on the blue jeans and just continued to rub until there was no ink showing on one side of the paper. And as you can see, the transfer came out absolutely beautiful. I continued to add on a few bees until I'm happy with the way that the transfer looks. Okay, one more B, and then we'll be done. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? I love the way that this transfer worked on fabric. It was just marvelous. And now it's time to add a bottle of wine to the gift bag just to check for fit and it's absolutely perfect. I added a selection of vintage looking ribbons to go along with the denim. I thought that it would be a perfect fit. I found the jute with the leaves on it that I purchased from Timu, daisy chain from Timu, the jute is from Timu, the white and brown lace is from Timu, and the white lace that looks like it's been crocheted 
is from the Dollar Tree. I cut each ribbon with the exception of the plain jute and the daisy chain to 14 inch lengths. Then I took some jute and I tied off the all of the ribbons at the seven inch mark. And I left enough jute to go around a bottle of wine, lotion, or whatever gift is going to be placed inside of the gift bag. Then I hot glued a burlap ribbon that came from Timu directly onto the ribbon and a burlap flower onto the ribbon and that also came from Timu. Then I cut off two small of two small daisies, one in the light jute and one in the dark jute. I have these small cards that I purchased from Timu and I love to use them as gift cards. I simply folded the card in half and I used a hole punch on the side, on the top corner of the side where the card is bent and I added some jute into the hole and I tied the jute off in a knot and hot glued one of each of the daisies onto the front of the card. I also left enough jute so that it's long enough to go around whatever is going to be inside of the gift card. I have my bottle of wine inside of the package and I'm going to tie on the ribbon with the jute. Let me just find the jute, there we go. And I'm going to tie that on and I'm just going to do a fingertip bow on the back of this ribbon so that it will be easy for the recipient to remove and also that so that they will have a pretty ribbon that they can reuse. And this project is complete. I so enjoyed making this project for you and I hope that it inspires you to make something beautiful. If you enjoyed the content of the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button and you'll be notified the next time that I post a video. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time.